Hi everyone, thanks for tuning into another video. This episode will cover part one of my second ever fishing trip to Oak Creek in Sedona, Arizona. Uh, this is quickly becoming an annual event for me as I made the same trek around the same time last year. Like last year, my day started at the Bootlegger Recreational Site. I started just before sunrise, so the first few minutes of this episode will appear very dark, but it does brighten up very quickly. Uh, the bootlegger area seems to hold both rainbow trout and gila trout. I think the correct pronunciation may be gila with an H, but it's spelt with a G, so you, you'll hear me say gila over and over again. Uh, gila trout have a pretty brown color, and they're unique to Arizona and New Mexico. Uh, the gila trout was at one time listed as endangered, but after extensive conservation efforts, it was removed from the endangered species list in 2006, according to Wikipedia. Uh, conservation efforts continue, and the Arizona Department of Fish and Game asks anglers to fill out a survey after each trip where gila trout are targeted. A link for the form or the survey can be found at azgfd.com slash fishing slash species slash gila trout. What's going on everyone? Maybe still a little too dark for you all to see, but I am back at Oak Creek in Sedona. It's one of my favorite places to fish in Arizona. I only seem to make it up here about once a year. Uh, it's about a two hour drive from the desert. So it's not always easy to make it up, but I made it up here on a Tuesday morning. And I'm starting off in the same place I started off last year, which is the Bootlegger Recreational Site. It's a really cool place. It has this deep pool. And in this deep pool, I'm already seeing fish jump. So I can already tell I'm in a good spot. So this should be fun. Hopefully the sun comes out soon and you all can see what I'm doing. All right, so quick mention of what I'm using. I'm gonna try to keep my intros to a minimum, but um, Oak Creek traditionally, most people probably fly fish it. I don't have a fly rod, never fly fished in my life, but I have no idea what I was doing. So I got my ultralight spinning rod. Hopefully you can see that here. Just a four pound test. Uh, now something special about bootlegger and as you go further upstream is that these areas are really kind of restricted with the fishing uh, you really can only use lures so no live bait i'll be using live bait later as i go downstream but this area lures only and you can't use treble hooks you have to use a single hook that's barbless so as you can see i have one of these feather spinners on i actually modified this this is a feather spinner that worked really well last year. This is bumblebee color, has a yellow spinner on it. I'm sorry, gold spinner on it. And this treble hook, I have cut down. That's yeah, hard to see, but I've cut down to having just one hook. So I am totally legal here. Um, I wouldn't do this to just any lure, but this lure is so old and beat up, I figured I can sacrifice it. So yeah, I'm going to get started. Hopefully I can hook into one. Might have to wait for the sun to come up for him to really start hinting stuff, but we'll see. So they've just been kind of jumping out towards the middle of this pool here. Probably nibbling at flies and whatnot that are in here. Last year when I was here, I caught a gila trout, which is unique to Arizona. I thought it was brown at the time, but found out otherwise. I already had a nibble. See, I've cut down the treble hook on this thing, so it might be harder to set the hook. We'll see. Keep at it. Oh, that was up on shore. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hooked him. Sweet. That was about my third or fourth cast. Get my net. Of course, I don't have my pliers in my pocket. I gotta walk up to my stuff. I can't even see what this is yet. Oh, it's a gila. 
I think. Yeah, that's a pretty gila. Nice one, actually. All right. Whoa. Hook came out pretty easy. Unless I'm using barbless. Just want to get this guy back in the water. Ah, oh, there he goes. Safely released. Hopefully that was on video. Good way to start. That was a nice, nice trout. Probably 14 inches. All right, sometimes in these pools, trout will get scared pretty quick. In fact, I did see some swimming kind of in the shallows before I caught that one and I don't see them anymore. So they may have taken off downstream. We'll see if we can get a second. See, not even nibble on that cast. And before I caught that one, I was getting a nibble on every cast. So I spooked him. Oh, something came up and nailed it. I missed him. It's okay. I didn't spook him too bad. I think I need to be just a little less aggressive. Maybe let the lure sink a little bit. So I'm going to retrieve. There we go. I think it looks like another gila. It's got some brown in him. My drag's really tight. There we go. Why oh, my drag's too loose? There. Oh, shoot. I lost him right there. <laughs> Barbless hooks. It'll do it. That's right. Should have messed with my drag. I should have just gotten him in. Dang, I think they've nibbled at it a few times where I don't realize they're biting at it. I'll see the shadow of them through the water. I just don't feel the, the tension on the line because they're just nibbling at it. It would probably help if I just keep reeling instead of doing the stop go. Yep, see, I felt that one. I'm definitely grabbing at it. I think bringing this down to a single hook makes it a little bit more challenging. That's all right, I'm gonna keep at it until they get bored of this thing. Oh, shoot. Let me get the hook to set. Here we go, here we go. Now it's set. Don't come off this time. Seems to be hooked. Oh, darn it. Again, barbless hooks, man. I can't get my net out quick enough. That's two lost and one landed. There we go. Took it on the drop. Not this time. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that that's one gila trout caught and three lost. That's insane. <laughs> I mean, it's fun for sure, but Darn. I think I might try something a little different. Maybe I'll have better luck. All right, so figured they got tired of staring at the feather spinner. 
So I picked up this little guy yesterday. This is a rainbow trout colored, I don't know, little, I guess you can call it a crankbait, but it's pretty small. Um, obviously I modified it. I took the treble hooks off and I have just a single size 10 bait holder on here. And I squished the barb down to keep everything legal. Um, may have been better off just cutting the, <laughs> the treble hook down. I don't know. But we'll see. We'll see how this thing swims and stuff. And be interesting to see if a baby trout would be of interest to one of these gila trout that are in here. Oh! Just saw three trout just come up and swipe at this thing. I don't think they actively bit it though. Ah, he's bit at it. They're liking the color, but I don't know if this hook modification is going to do it. I bought two of these, so I have another one that's got a full treble hook. So if I go downstream, where I don't have to worry about having a single hook, I might have more luck with this thing. Oh, that was a nice one jumping right there. Well, they took a couple of swipes at this thing, but I think they're bored of it now. Gotten used to it swimming by them, and they know it's not food. So, time to move on to the, the next thing. So, part of the fun of coming here is just trying out a bunch of random stuff. And that's kind of what I'm doing here. Uh, obviously... I don't have a fly rod, so this is going to be kind of an experiment. I don't even know how I'm going to get this thing out here or out there in the right spot and get it to hit the water right. But if it works, it'll be fun. I think it'll be a pretty cool accomplishment to make this thing work on a, <coughs> excuse me, on a spinning rod. So I'm just going to kind of place it here. Give it some line. Yep. And if I just throw it, I wonder what will happen here. Just didn't go very far. See, I can kind of skip it along the water which would be fine but I got to get it in the right spot hopefully y'all can see it uh, put on a little split shot good you know 24 inches above the bug here it's almost set up like a little Carolina rig. <laughs> and then from this standpoint, I can at least cast pretty far. So if I hook into one, maybe I can hop down real quick to net it. Might be a little too optimistic. The split shot might get hung up in the rocks too, so I don't know, we'll see. That's a much better cast. Oh, 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 oh. They bit at it. He came back for it. He came back for it. On the bug. I got the bug to work. Now don't lose it. Come here. Come here, come here, come here. This hook's a little bit bigger, so it's probably not going to fall out. He's easy. There we go. Gila number two. On the yellow bug. All right, that worked way better than I expected. Uh, see, I was afraid of doing that. Fishing on the bottom. I think I hooked a stick.
At least that's out of the way now. Oh, oh. Got him again. Oh, that one came off. That one came off. Still, man. Getting it down deep. Twitching this bug around. There we are. Hey, he's a nice one, too. Afraid if I force it too much, I'll lose him. Another gila. I do think there's some rainbows in here. Just haven't hooked into one yet. Well, the bug's been fun. I've hooked into three. I could probably catch a few more with it, but I had to bring something back. Uh, something I had last year and I caught my first ever gila trout on it. It's the, uh, the sexy shad is what this thing is called according to its packaging. Now this time it is modified. It's got one single barbless hook on there. As I've seen with the other stuff I've modified, it's probably going to be hard to get a hook set, but I at least want to give it a shot. You know, these trout seem to like this thing last year. I don't see why this year would be anything different. It's following it. They followed it a long distance, but they didn't bite it on that go around. Let's try again. So it seems like anything new you put on in this little pool, these guys want to investigate it. Oh, my lure went in a weird direction there. Which tells me they hit it. No fish on the sexy shed this time around. I might try uh, this again. I, I have duplicates of this too. One that does have a treble hook on it. So I think I probably got a couple of bites on this thing. It's just having this single hook with this design, it's just not working. So I think I've uh, tried just about everything I got for this spot. So probably in a little bit, I'll probably check in uh, at a new spot. See if I can get some more trout. Maybe some rainbow. There are brown trout in here somewhere. Not exactly sure where, but maybe I'll get one of those. <laughs>